Hey there, everybody. A quick note before we get into the video. In this video, I ask you to drop some nicknames for David Gonzalez, who's going to become a grandfather. I didn't realize when I put that in the video that not all of the Gonzalez family have been notified. So please do not tag uh, So Sharp David or Rocio on social media or congratulate them publicly because all the family members do not know. My apologies to the Gonzalez family. We will have a contest later for a nickname for So Sharp David. But for now, keep it on the down low as much as you can. Thanks so much. Let's get on with the video. In this video, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil Nade, and we're going to compare the twig to the Broman single edge razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and I'm excited today, but honestly, I'm excited every day. The scent on this, whoo, it is, oh, I love it. Apricot and freesia uh, are the notes. I'll put them for you right there. Um, right at medium, maybe slightly under, but man, what a beautiful scent this is. This is Murphy and McNeil Nade, and this is a soap. Uh, that was brought about to raise awareness for autism. Uh, Murphy & McNeil does a lot of charity stuff. Really great company. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, the cost on this, $17.99 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that's a fair price of $4.49 uh, per ounce. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. This is the Aeon Base, which is firm, tallow-based. And it is uh, it has duck fat in it and some other stuff. And there's a look at the soap. People have been asking me to show the pour. There's the pour. It's, it's pretty firm as you can hear. So you'll probably get even better value out of this soap by virtue of it being a, a little more firm. Great stuff at Murphy and McNeil. I love, love, love the scent of this. And I got to credit the stallion because I saw him using it and he said apricot. And I'm like, I love apricot. The scent of apricot is just awesome. Anyway, um, so today we're going to compare the Broman razor, single edge, which we used yesterday with the twig. And we'll see how that goes. I have a feather blade right here and all you have to do to make these blades into half is just simply bam fold it over very very easy leave it in the wrapper fold it over and then we'll load both of these razors and see how it comes out today the the bro man comes to you from the uk and we'll load it first it has this little plastic flap and we'll load the feather in it first it comes to you out of the uk and it was about 35 pounds british pounds um, which is about now $48 plus shipping. Came to me for 50 some dollars when I bought it a year ago. I don't know if this razor is still made because I haven't seen, I've looked from time to time on their website over the past year and I haven't seen it back in stock and some people have reached out to them and never heard back. So I don't know if they're still making this razor or not. So there's the Broman out of the UK. And here is the Twig, which you've seen me use many times and it is in stock and you can get it here. And, in the US and it has that design where you twist the bottom, it turns up and around and it has that magnet there and you lay the blade down in it and that magnet sort of holds it in place and then it twists back down and around. I really like this razor a lot. And so let's get going, let's get going. Uh, moisture, just H2O, high quality H2O, just regular tap water misting the face. The links for the products will be used below. And I want to, uh, while I'm lathering here, and we do think we have a really nice lather with the Murphy and McNeil. Again, Murphy and McNeil, really good quality soap, underrated in my view. We have a lot of hydration in this lather today. And look at that. Really, really nice. All right. Anyhow, what I wanted to mention to you was um, we have to congrat or congratulate David and Rocio Gonzalez as they are becoming grandparents. They uh, announced yesterday that their daughter is with child. So we wish the Gonzalez family all the best. But what I need from you folks is what shall we call David Gonzalez now? Now I know some folks call him the D word. I'm not gonna say it because my father is still alive and the only man that I call dad is my dad. <laughs> uh, that's just a respect thing for my father. Um, but anyway, some people call David the D word. Uh, I do not. But I'm not opposed to calling him Paul Paul Gonzalez or something like that. So you all tell me below, what would you call Paul Paul Gonzalez? Now, soon to be grandfather, God willing, of course. What would you all call him? Give me your uh, suggestions below. Paul Paul Gonzalez. 
I, I always found it strange that people call him the, the D word. Because again, my father's still alive. I don't call any man um, father. Or actually two people I call father. The Lord and my own father. Or my father-in-law. And that's it. Three men, let's say. But other than that, I can't do it. It's just, it's a respect thing. I cannot do it. But Paul, Paul, I'm in on that. I'm in on that. So please tell me below. What are your suggested nicknames for Paul Paul Gonzalez? Um, soon to be grandfather. And we, we congratulate them and wish them all the best, of course. Okay. Enough yapping. While I'm lathering, we have a lot of hydration. I put some extra hydration in this because I'll make my bowl lather just before my wife gets up. So sometimes the it will your lather will lose hydration over time. And so I put some extra in there to sort of account for that evaporation. And we'll start on this side with the bromance. Now, I already know that I'm going to end up probably making this shave come out the same. Technique, I'm going to use technique and make sure that I get a very close shave on both sides. When I'm doing these comparisons, the question is, how does it feel and how easy is it to obtain that really close result? Do I have to work harder on one side than the other? Is there more blade feel on one, ra one razor and another. But in terms of the shave, I'm gonna, you can rest assured, I'm gonna get a doggone close shave every single time that I wield any sort of razor. I'm, you know, that's on me. The question is, how does the equipment compare? Does one do it easier? And, you know, we'll find out. This, this Broman is very mild. You almost feel no blade. It does work. But I think you, I have to put a little more effort into it. Um, I just don't feel enough blade for my liking personally, but it does work. The twig, I like very much. And right away, the blade feels night and day. You can feel blade right away on the twig. Now, it is not an aggressive razor, the twig. I would still call it far side of um, mild, meaning towards medium, right close to medium. Some people might call it medium, some people would call it mild, but it's definitely not on the Broman side of mild. The Broman is on the sort of Feather ASD2 side of mild in terms of blade feel. The twig, you can feel that blade doing its work and I like that a lot. Already, I can tell you without going further, I prefer the twig and blade feel all day, every day. It's not even close. And the twig, by the way, is made the, excuse me, it's made by leaf. Um, I think the razor is actually produced in China, but it's made by uh, Leaf. And it comes to you from four, uh, $59, which is close in price to what I paid for the Broman shipped to my door. And I really like this razor. And I could just feel it cutting better right out of the gate. Um, the, that feedback that Blade Feel gives you is another level. So you have your audio, you have your visual where you can see what you're doing. And then you have that feeling of the blade cutting and that is another level of feedback. And I really appreciate that uh, feedback. So first pass was good. The first pass easily goes to the twig. There's no question. It just feels better. I know I'm gonna have to do less work with the twig to get to the same degree of closeness. That's just, you know, that's a no brainer. Again, both use half DE blades and both will get the job done. Now, let's talk a little bit about Murphy and McNeil while we're lathering here. Murphy and McNeil is an underrated both company and artisan. They produce very good soaps at a very re reasonable price, good splashes, but also they have their used marketplace, which uh, people can buy and sell used shaving wares on, which is awesome. They also sell uh, products from other vendors. so. We, I saw uh, recently, for example, the Zingari release, the uh, the Rambler. I saw them, they were selling that. So they also stock some other artisanal wares as well and sell other shaving products. So it's not just that Murphy McNeil is an artisan. You can tell there's a lot of hydration in there. Um, they have a full range between their store, the Murphy McNeil retail store, and the marketplace, you can pretty much find anything you need there. So I encourage you to go check them out. And I can't remember their actually shipping their actual shipping policy, but pretty much if you buy soap in the United States at least, it ships free. And that is nuts. 
that's exceptional value. Again, there's a lot of companies that offer great prices on their soap, but then, you know, they hit you with the eight or more dollar shipping. I remember my good friend Shady the other day, I'm not going to mention the company because I didn't ask his permission to mention who he was going to buy from. He was going to buy um, from a company and he was spending over $100 and the shipping, and this company is in the US, and the shipping was going to come to $18 on top of the 100 for products. And it's like, come on, you know, most companies do have a, uh, um, eventually you reach uh, a limit. Whereas say if you spend $50 or 75, you get free shipping, but this company, no. And so he was well over a hundred dollars in his cart. And then when he went to checkout, it was $18 and 96 cents for shipping. And he just didn't buy it. So these companies like Murphy and McNeil and the razor company, for example, who offer very low minimums for free shipping is awesome. Then you have a company like Sterling that pretty much almost anything you get in the United States. Now I'm only speaking of if you're in the United States. Um, their shipping is usually right around $4.50 to $5, almost no matter what, which is a very good price. That's less than what it costs to ship it in most cases, certainly if you're buying a couple items. Look at the way that, <laughs> that lather is just hanging there. That means it's heavy and dense. It's got some good hydration in it. And again, this razor will get the job done, but you just don't have the benefit of a lot of blade feel. I can feel it, but... I definitely feel like I have to go over those spots a little bit more. And where I feel I have to do the most work is down here. It just doesn't feel like it's uh, cutting as well as I would like on the neck area, which is my toughest area to get and also the, uh, the most sensitive skin. So it makes for a weird combination, but I don't think that's necessarily unusual because a lot of people, their neck is their most sensitive spot. The twig here, um, just making sure I had that tight. You can feel the blade, but again, it is by no means menacing, but you do get some blade feel. I would still call it overall mild to entry level of medium, but I'm feeling more blade, which to me, I really like that. Now, if you like the, the feeling of almost no blade, you might prefer the, the bro man. But the twig to me, oh yeah, on my neck, this is where I really feel, I'm feeling and I'm hearing the cutting there. And those two sources of feedback for me, I think help me um, because I can feel the razor cutting, but I can also hear it being cut. Feedback is really important during your shave. At least it is to me. You know, all those things help in your shave as far as I'm concerned. All right. So back to Murphy and McNeil. That was an excellent pass on both sides, by the way. Um, I forgot to mention today, I'm using the PAA Switchback 400 with the AP Shave Co Sinbad Knot. And these, these handles are cool because you can put your own knot in them. It's not hard to do. Douglas actually has a video on that. If you want to put your own knot in a brush, you can certainly do that. And I'm slinging lather all over the place because I got so much hydration in this uh, lather. More than I need but it will never hurt anything. Well, let me let me take that back. You can get too much hydration into your soap where, to the point where you're washing it out and it, it can be a problem. But this today is just gonna be super, super slick. And the scent on this is fantastic. Again, I have to thank the stallion for, uh, for he used, he's used this a couple times and he said, oh yeah, you will like this. And he is right. This is, there is nothing, nothing off-putting about this scent and I think it would you'd be hard pressed unless you just don't like fruit scents. Now this is not uber sweet. It is there is sweetness to it, but it's not uber candy sweet. It's just really, really pleasant. And for me it is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Apricot, as far as I'm concerned, is a very underappreciated note in the game of traditional shaving. You don't see artisans use it a lot. I've seen Shannon's use it, and I like that one. Uh, fig and apricot, or apricot and fig, but I would love to see more artisans use apricot in their citrus offerings. Maybe mix it with something else citrusy. I mean, I would love it. And the quality of this Aeon base, I love it. I know people crow about the uh, Kodiak, 
But to me, I just used the Kodiak the other day and it was fantastic, but this is very good too. Um, it's nice and firm too, so I think you're gonna get better value than the price would indicate per ounce. Because harder soaps, you know, generally yield more shaves. Okay, final pass here. And man, when, when I, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get that in my left hand there. Yeah, it just feels night and day. Much more blade feel on the leaf, or excuse me. I have a habit of calling this a leaf. It's the twig, not the leaf. Much more blade feel on the uh, on the twig side of the house. And it just, for me, cuts more effectively than the Broman. The Broman does pivot. The leaf does not. I did not mention that. But one of the main issues with the Broman here is I don't even know if you can still get it. I haven't heard anything from this company for a long time, and I have been contacted by people who said they've reached out to them and they've never heard back, so I don't know if they're still making this razor. Um, so you may not even be able to get it, so the comparison might be for not, but I thought I would do it because I just got this razor back, and uh, man, um, it's just, it's mild for my taste, but if you were perhaps brand new traditional to traditional shaving, and you just wanted to start out with something very mild and easy going to sort of get accustomed to single blade shaving or a single edge razor. This might be one to try. It does pivot, so it has that in common with carts. But um, for me, it's just not as effective as the twig. So the twig is going to win this one hands down and it's not even close. But the Broman is okay. I mean, it's... Uh, Again, it, it, it's not one that I'm that I'm going to love. It just doesn't offer the feedback that I want. And it's not quite as efficient as I want. But it will get the job done, and you can get a good shave out of it. Or at least I can. It does require a little extra work, I think. But the twig, to me, just feels... The twig feels more maneuverable. It offers more feedback. It's more efficient. And... For me, it's it's uh, it's just a better shaving experience by quite a bit. Um, I I really appreciate using the twig every time I use it. I like it. It's mild, but not too mild. Like I said, it's knocking on the door of medium. I would call it, uh, and I enjoy using it. And the feather blade, I think, is a good pairing with the twig for me. If you like extremely Extremely mild razors, maybe, you know, maybe pair that with a something perhaps not quite as sharp as the feather is rumored to be. Maybe you get a little, little bit more mild shave. Very nice. I just love the way the twig feels. <laughs> I don't know. The twig works for me. I like it a lot. And I've used it, uh, as far as new razors go, I think I've used the twig more than most of my newer <laughs> razors because it's just a pleasure to use. So the big winner for me will be the Twig No Surprise. All right, all right. That was a really nice shave today. Let me uh, rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse followed with the alum no staining, super smooth shave, cold water rinse, then we toweled off with the Lancaster towel and followed up with the Thayer's Magic Made by Witches. Terrific shave today, but the clear winner by a lot was the twig. The bro man is a little mild for my taste. The twig, just a much better shaver in my opinion. The, twin, the twig wins big <laughs> today, at least for me. Murphy and McNeil Nade, beautiful scent, apricot and freesia, absolutely loved it. Murphy and McNeil, great company, great soaps, great everything. Uh, of course, we use our PAA Switchback 400, AP Shave Code Knot, and the Captain's Choice Bowl. We'll see it off today with Murphy and McNeil BDLM2. And I hope everyone will be having a great day today. So, as you know, I will because we've had a great shave. And that sets the tone for the day, which is going to be excellent. Hope you have an excellent day, too. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.